Good day, everyone. I hope you're doing great. My name is George and I'm a coach for chat champions. This video is an update from my last pack week video. And also I would like to spend some time to talk about a very important level on the Bitcoin chart. Claiming or losing this level could potentially give the direction for Bitcoin for the next weeks or even months to come. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. On my last public video, I was talking about this range, the same one that I have here on the chart. And this range was formed when Bitcoin managed to break the 30K resistance to the upside. And since then, this range was very well respected. And the 30K area, together with the value area low of this range, they acted as a really good support. But right now, the price is trying to break this range to the downside. And that is why this level, the value area low of this range is a really important level on the Bitcoin chart. Losing or claiming this level could potentially give the direction for Bitcoin for the next weeks and months to come. Also, it is important to understand how and why the price got to this area. First of all, we can see here we had a really strong rejection from the point of control of this range. And starting with this rejection, we can see that we have a really, really strong downtrend. Obviously, in between, we have levels. And I would like to take some time to explain what actually happened in this area. And for that, we need to go to lower time frame. First of all, I would like to mark these levels, the value area low the point of control of this range and the value area high of this range. And now let's say we already start to see a couple of ranges forming here. And I would like to uh, talk about this range. This range was formed when the price lost the point of control. We've seen a move to the downside and then another rejection from the same point of control of this high time frame range. Now, if we go to daily time frame, for example, we can see we have here this range. And what I like to do when I see a range, I would like to pull the fixed range. And that would give us some really important levels like the value area high of this range, point of control, and value area low of this range. So remember, we've got the re rejection from the point of control of the high time frame range and the first touch of the value area high here gave a really nice bounce, but the price once again was rejected from the point of control. And after that, the price got acceptance back into this range below the value area high of this range. And that could be seen as a sign of weakness. After that, we've seen the next level uh, the next important level on the chart was the point of control. And after that, the price was pushing to the downside. I explained everything that happened in this area in my last public video. If you missed this one, I will leave the link into, uh, in the description. So when I posted this, uh, the last video, the price was around here, uh, the mid April. And I was saying in this area that a bounce is possible. And I was explaining the confluences that we had in this area. And as you can see, we've got a really nice bounce where the first time the price was rejected from the point of control of this range, another retracement and another push to the upside. And for this rejection, we have a very, very good and technical reason. And that would be this daily level. This daily, this daily level together with the point of control of this range made possible this rejection. After that, the price started to push to the downside towards the value area low of this range. Remember, value area low, point of control and value area high of this range, really important levels on the chart. Also, as additional confluence, because for a swing trade, you need multiple high time frame confluence. We have this really important daily level. 
This daily level, as you can see, was very well respected together with the value area low of this range. And each time the price was actually touching this daily, we can see a bounce. The, uh, the daily level was acting as support, 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 giving some really nice bounces. But once this level was lost and the price actually got acceptance below the value area low of this range, then we've seen this really strong downtrend. And obviously the next important level on the chart was actually the value area low of the high time frame range. And now, because we know the technical reason for this drop, I would like to spend some time to explain what happened in this area. And for that, I would like to enable a couple of levels like this daily and this weekly level. And let's zoom in to lower time frame, let's say one hour. And we've seen the strong rejection, strong downtrend here. And most of the time, after a strong downtrend like this, you'll see forming a range. And this range was formed between this daily level and this weekly level above. The price was coming down. Some reaction at the first touch of the high time frame value area low. Push to the upside where this weekly level started to act as resistance. After that, the price was pushing once again to the downside, touching this daily, swing failure pattern of the daily, and another push to this weekly level. This weekly level is a very strong resistance right now. We can see it acted as resistance multiple times on this chart. Resistance, 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 resistance. Price was pushing once again here to the downside, once again this uh, area, this daily, was acting as support and another push to the upside. Where, once again, this weekly level, very good volatility, by the way. We have a lot of scalpers, day traders in the group. When you see a range like this, this definitely uh, gives the possibility of some really, really good trades. But overall, this weekly was a very, very strong resistance. Weekly resistance, the price pushing once again to the downside. And also we can see here locally that we have a bearish market structure because the price is making lower low, lower low, lower low, lower low. And the price was making lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Always remember about the market structure. This range breaks to the downside. And this time, what the first couple of times this daily acted as support, now here and here it was flipped also yesterday this level was flipped to resistance and more downside was possible now we know what happened in this area and the next question is what is going on here why the price stopped here and why we see the current bounce is there a technical reason for this or this is just another random movement on the chart and for that, to look for a technical reason, I would like to once again move to, let's say, weekly time frame, like this. And the first thing that I would like to do is actually pull a fib from this low, the corona low, to the overall all-time high. And what we can see is actually that the CC in is in that uh, area. We all know CC is one of the most respected levels on the Bitcoin chart. If on top of that, we enable this daily, we can see we already have two high time frame confluence at the same level. Now, moving back to one hour time frame, we can see swing failure pattern of the CC, swing failure pattern of the daily, but the daily is claimed very, very fast. And now we see the, the current bounce where we get back to this high time frame level, the value area low of this range. This is one of the most important levels that we have on the chart right now. And claiming or losing this level, in my opinion, 
this would give the next direction for the Bitcoin for the weeks or maybe month to come. By the way, all these levels and information are shared in the morning update also in Discord. So all our members are aware of these levels and they could use it when they are trading. If you want to get access to this kind of information in real time, all you need to do is go to our website chartchampions.com and join our group. We have a lot of educational content on the website and together with the live updates from Discord, I would say that it's all you need to become a profitable trader. And now that I explained the technical reason for the drop and everything that happened on this part of the chart, I would like to end with this high time frame level. And for that, please allow me to hide a couple of levels and move back to high time frame, like the weekly time frame, for example. This level, the high time frame value area low, it is maybe the most important level on the Bitcoin chart right now. If the price managed to get acceptance back into this range to claim this level, that could be seen as a sign of strength and that opens the possibility for more upside. Also, if this level will act as resistance, that could be seen as a sign of weakness and definitely that opens the possibility for more downside. And for more downside, we are talking about a 20K area or below. Remember, as a trader, you always need a bullish and a bearish plan with a very good invalidation for both. As long as you have that, you can make money to the upside and you can make money to the downside. Really doesn't matter where the price moves. As a trader, all you need are levels, check the reaction and decide if there is a trade for you or not. And with that, I would like to end uh, this video. I hope you like the video and I hope the information that I'm giving, it will help you with your trading. And until the next one, I would like to say thank you for everything. Cheers and bye bye.